In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. Amen. Dear friends, on this week, new day of the week, we like to pray and remember the following intentions. Today we remember a great saint, Saint Maria Goretti, a virgin, a martyr, died young, sacrificed her life for living for Christ. It's a patron of young people, patron of people who are especially victims of rape, etc. We will hear her story. We like to pray that all of us remain holy and pure before the Lord. And we pray especially for many who are violated and that the Lord may always console them. During this Mass, we like to pray for the following intentions. We pray for Mamdinu John, who celebrates her birthday. It's also her feast today. We remember especially. We remember Ching Khame Marak and Bafin. These people celebrate their birthdays. We ask the Lord to bless and always give them God's graces and make them walk in His ways. We like to pray for one of our teachers, Sir and see Barali, who was admitted in the hospital, he had a minor heart stent insertion and we pray for his good health and pray for the family and for the intentions of good health of Ma'am Agnes and for the intentions of Elbina Kanti and one of my relations departed and therefore is today, Tetrisyama and we remember all our near and dear ones departed. Let's bring all other intentions that we have as we begin this new week. Let's ask the Lord that we may always walk close to Him and an increase of faith in us. We ask pardon for all our sins. Trusting in His mercy, we turn, I confess, Lord, to Almighty Lord, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord, have mercy. You came to call us sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, interceding for us, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty Lord have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Let us pray for the gift of purity. O God, author of innocence and lover of chastity, who bestowed the grace of martyrdom on your handmaid, the Virgin Saint Maria Goretti, in her youth, grant, we pray, through her intercession, that as you gave her a crown of her steadfastness, so we too may be firm in obeying your commandments. Grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the prophet Hosea. It is the Lord who speaks. I am going to lure her and lead her out into the wilderness and speak to her heart. There she will respond to me as she did when she was young, as she did when she came out of the land of Egypt. When that day comes, it is the Lord who speaks. She will call me my husband. No longer will she call me my Baal. I will betroth you to myself forever, betroth you with integrity and justice, with tenderness and love. I will betroth you to myself with faithfulness, and you will come to know the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Your response, the Lord is kind and full of compassion. The Lord is kind and full of compassion. I will bless you day after day and praise your name forever. The Lord is great 
highly to be praised, his greatness cannot be measured. Your response? The Lord, the Lord is compassion. Age to age shall proclaim your works, shall declare your mighty deeds, shall speak of your splendor and glory, tell the tale of your wonderful works. The Lord is compassion. They will speak of your terrible deeds, recount your greatness and might. They will recall your abandoned goodness. Age to age shall ring out your justice. The Lord, the Lord is kind and full of compassion. The Lord is kind and full of compassion, slow to anger, abounding in love. How good is the Lord to all, compassionate to all his creatures. The Lord, the Lord is kind and full of compassion. Gospel acclamation. Are spirit, Lord, and they are life. You have the message of eternal life. The Lord be with you. And your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Chapter 9, verses 18 to 26. While Jesus was speaking, up came one of the officials who bowed low in front of him and said, My daughter has just died, but come and lay your hand on her, and her life will be saved. Jesus rose and with his disciples followed him. Then from behind came a woman who had suffered from a hemorrhage for 12 years and she touched the fringe of his cloak for she said to herself, if I can only touch his cloak, I shall be well again. Jesus turned and saw her and he said to her, courage, my daughter, your faith has restored you to health. And from that moment, the woman was well again. When Jesus reached the official's house and saw the fruit players and the crowd making a commotion, he said, Get out of here. The little girl is not dead. She is asleep. And they laughed at him. But when the people had been turned out, he went inside and took the little girl by hand and she stood up and the news spread all around the countryside. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Before we go to the reading of today, we will just hear about this great saint that we celebrate, Maria Goretti. You now she is a patron of young people, died almost at the age of 12, died or killed. No? was born in 1890 and died in 1902, roughly 12, 13. Her father, born in Italy, her father died at a very young age of malaria and the mother found it very hard, very difficult to keep the family going. And it is said that the mother would go around working in families, also a very simple peasant family. and. Even in this difficulty, Maria Goretti and the family, they would never miss a mass on a single day. You know, because they had to look for their daily living. But Holy Mass would take the most important place in their life. And she, the mother, went to work in one of the neighbor families, rich, well-to-do. And there was a young man by name Alexander. And she, he decided... Maria Goretti, the young girl, and wanted to violate her, rape her, and she denied it. She said, I would be killed 
then break the commandment and break myself and become unholy before the Lord. And Alexander stabbed her to death. Of course, she didn't die there. She was in the hospital. And in the hospital before the death, she totally forgave the offender Alexander. And in the year 1947, Pope Pius XII beatified her. And after three years, the same Pope made her a saint, saint of the young people, especially patron of victims of rape and young people. It's interesting when Alexander was then punished to 30 years in prison, you know, imprisoned. And very hard man, it is said, she, he was so, even in prison, hard. But one night he had a vision. That is, this little young girl whom he had killed, coming to her, coming to him in a dream and giving a beautiful flower of lily. And that made a change in Alexander and he was a changed man. And because of that, his life was so different in prison. After 27 years, he was released. And when he really was released, he went straight to Mary, Maria's mother and said, if she has forgiven me, who am I to give hatred for anybody? And it is said that when Maria Gureti was sanctified, beatified, Alexander too was there on the same podium hearing the news. Maria Gureti is of course seen as the patron of chastity, purity. When we study the life of Maria Gureti, it is not merely that she kept to herself away from sin of being violated, but the greater virtue was the virtue of forgiveness you know and that is where the the great sanctification of her was stressed on i'm sure it's an inspiring life we we pray for people especially victims especially people who are violated for no choice of their own and we pray that all of us i'm sure there is always a choice in our life to choose god than many other things in the world and she stands before us as someone who showed us Come to the Gospel of today, we are starting Prophet Hosea, you know, an inspiring, interesting reading. Again, the time is one of the first of the minor prophets. Hosea was called in a time, same, the two kingdoms of northern and southern. And the northern kingdom was a lot of peril, you know, inversions. And it's at that time and people were more faithful to other gods, Baal, than Yahweh. That's the time Hosea is called. It looks very strange. Yahweh tells him, go and marry a, gamma, a lady who is a prostitute. And it is through that, that some scripture scholars say it is a vision that Hosea had. But when you read, leave, it is more of his own personal life. As she would be unfaithful to Hosea. And Hosea would take her, speak to her heart and make her once again faithful. Even then she fails continuously and the Lord calls Hosea, Israel, right, are the same. They keep falling, but I will show my compassion. I will keep them faithful. I will call them back to me and make them leave Baal and me as a true God. And Hosea's life is projected back to the, the faithfulness and the unfaithfulness of Yahweh, of Israelites. A lot of things that we can take into our own life. Come to the gospel of today, we have the story of for two stories, one after another. Original version in Mark, we find this like a sandwich within gospel narrations. One story inside another. So first we have the officer's daughter who died, comes to Jesus. And as the Lord walks to him, his house, the woman who was in hemorrhage for 12 years, touches the fringe of her, his garment and is healed. You know, when you look at all the healings that the Lord has done, you know, one line that will stand up is always this, your faith has made you well again. Your faith has healed you. And that is everywhere. Which means we 
it's an act of submission that brings God's greatness into us. And in that humility is when the Lord works in us. Take one line from here. Why did Jesus say, the girl is not dead, he is sleeping? Also look at John's chapter 11, the story of Lazarus. It's the same. When Jesus gets a message, you know, the news, that your friend Lazarus is dead, Jesus says, he is sleeping. Then the disciples say, so is that sleeping where he just slept off like we sleep? Then the disciples think in the normal sense, if he's sleeping, it's okay, he will wake up after some time. Then the Lord says, no, clarifies, not that sleep, but he's dead. So what does this sleep mean? Many interpretations, but we believe this sleep is, sleep means we will wake up, right? We sleep, most of us wake up, which means life, death, the Lord puts it, it's only a sleep. We wake up to the Lord, that is the resurrection in its complete meaning. And even if we believe this body dies, perishes, now it will one day resurrect with the Lord. And when we look through the eyes of the Lord, we believe, we understand that death is nothing but sleeping in the Lord. And that is what we need. I'm sure all of us fear a little bit death you know, when it comes, maybe because of the uncertainty that is beyond. But I'm sure when we look through the eyes of the Lord and look at the Lord, I'm sure it will give us deeper faith and that faith will heal us of the fears that we have. Let's pray for this gift, a deeper faith. And as the woman prayed, may we touch the fringe of his garment and I'm sure the faith will flow into us. And that faith is the Holy Eucharist that we touch, we receive. We pray for this grace. The Lord may increase his faith in us. Let us pray, my dear friends, that this sacrifice of mine and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the offerings we bring in celebration of St. Maria Goretti win your gracious acceptance, O Lord, we pray, just as the struggle of her suffering and passion was pleasing before you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the saints who consecrated themselves in Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original innocence and bring it to experience of this truth here on earth and the gifts that you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we declare your glory as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy God, God of hosts, and as I are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, as we still come. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, Together with Francis, our Pope, our bishops, and all the clergy, remember your servant, Tresiama, and all our near and dear ones departed, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Have mercy on us, O we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph the Apostles, St. Mary Agarethi, St. Anthony, St. John Bosco, and all who are pleased to you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let's pray for the coming of God's kingdom and a deeper faith as we call on God, our Father. Who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Give us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from all sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Amen. Let's offer each other God's peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away our sins, the one whom we are going to touch, and the Lord will heal us. Blessed are we who are called to receive him. As we receive the Lord into us in deep faith, let's ask the Lord to heal us. As we touch him, as we receive him, may the Lord work in us. May the Lord heal in us. May the Lord arouse in us, awaken us, all that is asleep. May the Lord make us really live for the Lord.
What has passed our lips as food, O Lord, may we possess in purity of heart, that what has been given to us in time may be our healing for all eternity. Let us pray. O God, who bestowed on blessed Saint Maria Goretti a crown among the saints for her twofold triumph of virginity and martyrdom, grant we pray through the power of this sacrament that bravely overcoming every evil in us, we may attain the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. As we bow and kneel for the adoration, let us turn to the Lord in faith and trust to increase the faith as gift in us. Blessed and praise be every moment. Let's turn to the Lord in faith as the father of the little girl, as a woman in hemorrhage. It was their faith that healed, that made the Lord to work his wonder in them. We turn to the Lord, all that is disbelief in us. May the Lord heal. As we touch, as we look, as we look at him, let's ask the Lord to heal us and may his touch heal us. May his touch increase in us, faith in him that works miracles, wonders in us. As we pray the divine mercy for the times we have been unfaithful, for the times we have failed him, for the times our faith was little. We ask, Lord, increase in us, Lord, your faith, mercy on us, Lord, and give us a deeper faith, a deeper love. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Have mercy on us, Lord, for the sake of the sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us, Lord, for the sake of the sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us, Lord, for the sake of the sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us, Lord, for the sake of the sorrow
of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, 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 holy God, holy mighty one,
Blessed and praised be every moment. Blessed and praised be every moment. Blessed and praised be every moment. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Before the Lord, we pray for the world and pray for ourselves and protection. As we say, most merciful and trying God, we come to you in our weakness, weakness. We come to you in our fear. We come to you with trust, for you alone are our hope. We place before you the diseased persons in our world. We turn to you in our time of need. Bring wisdom to doctors, give understanding to scientists, and talk caregivers with compassion and generosity. Bring healing to those who are ill, protect those who are most at risk, give comfort to those who have lost a loved one, welcome those who have died in your eternal home, stabilize our communities, unite us in our compassion, remove our fear from our hearts, fill us with confidence in your prayer. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. We surrender our families as we say, pray to the Holy Family. Jesus, Jesus Mary, and Joseph, Joseph, in you we contemplate the Spirit of Holy family and comfort, and our families too. May be places of communion, prayer, and the authentic schools of the gospel, and small domestic churches. Holy family of Nazareth, may our families never again experience violence, rejection, and division. May all who have been hurt find ready comfort and healing. Holy family of Nazareth, make us aware of the sacredness of the family. And his beauty. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Happy feast and God bless you.